President Barack Obama's second inaugural parade will be January 21st, 2013. The U.S. Marine Band will have been there all morning. We will perform on, at the Capitol during the swearing-in ceremony. Uh, the marching portion of the inaugural is what I'm involved with. It's my job to prepare the band to march and look fantastic as we go down the road. We'll have probably three or four hour to an hour and a half rehearsals to get this uh, marching formation ready to go. Normally, we have a 36-piece band and a drum major out in front of the 36-piece band to march for a parade of, uh, at barracks or at the White House. Um, for this type of a parade, we have a 99-member band. Nine people wide, 11 people deep. In front of the band, we have a five-member staff, including the director of the U.S. Marine Band. And then in front of that staff is the drum major, me, uh, leading the formation down the road. We'll be around 45 feet wide and about 55 to 60 feet deep, just the playing members of the band. The staff in front of the band will take up about another 20 feet, and then I'll be about 10 feet in front of the staff. So I'll be utilizing the mace, and I'll be wearing a bearskin, and for some people, I'll be 75 feet, 80 feet in front of them. So it's my job to ensure that everybody can see me. Everybody knows very for sure what I'm doing. Everybody knows exactly what I'm doing. Uh, the commands I'm giving are very concise. And uh, the rehearsals that we're going to have are going to help us do that. We'll have three to four hour, hour and a half rehearsals uh, right here at Marine Barracks to prepare this. We do... Uh, different turns for an inaugural parade than we would for any other parade. We do for the inaugural what's called a gate turn. Um, it's just simply like a fan opening type of a turn. Instead of people pivoting and turning individually and then coming online and, and stepping off together, the whole rank opens up and, and makes that turn. This is something that we never do unless we're doing an inaugural parade or a state funeral. So we'll work really, really hard on cover and alignment during these turns in and out of the turns. We, wanna, we really want to look perfect in the formation that we're going to be marching. As we go down Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House, there's a reviewing stand on the left. And uh, I will salute and face the reviewing stand as I salute and, and march by in front of the President. And the Commandant of the Marine Corps will be standing right next to the President as the Marine contingent walks by. It's kind of a neat time for him to be able to display his Marine Corps to the President of the United States. The evening of the inaugural parade is usually very cold. Um, we have 99-piece band, as I've said, and it's not unusual for some of the instruments to have frozen over uh, and the valves not work very well. And one of the reasons the unit is so large is so that the majority of people have a working instrument. Um, so we have to deal with the cold, we have to deal with the uncertainty of whether our valves are going to stick or not on the brass instruments, um, whether or not when a reed player goes to play their instrument, whether that reed will buzz or will be frozen over a little bit. Um, depending on how cold it is or whether it's raining, well, we might be in the uniform I'm wearing right now or we will, might wear over this uniform a wool coat if it's just cold. If it's raining, we'll wear what's called an all-weather coat that will just keep us a little bit more dry. But uh, when you're marching down the parade route, it's January, it's typically windy, and when you march in between the buildings, when you're not near an intersection, the wind's pretty controlled. But the minute you hit an intersection, you're getting blasted left or right, sometimes in a swirling motion with the wind, and it's, it's a little bit hard to maintain your composure, but our job is to, to walk down the road in a military fashion, ensuring that we look like none of that's bothering us. So the conditions on the day, um, how long the day has been, uh, is something that we have to fight. So the uniforms we'll be wearing the day of the inaugural are our ceremonial marching uniforms. I'm currently wearing the drum major's ceremonial dress uniform. The officers in the Marine Band and the drum majors have gold braids on their coats. The enlisted members have black braids on their coats. Uh, I wear the sash, or baldric right here, which has uh, my personal decorations the insignia of the United States Marine Band, and streamers that represent the wars and campaigns that the Marine Corps has been involved with in its entire history. I also carry the mace. The mace is used to signal forward march, mark time, halt. 
It's used to signal the command to begin the music and stop the music, along with turning left and right. Um, and in addition, I'll be wearing the black bear skin. My first inaugural as drum major for the U.S. Marine Band was President Barack Obama's first inaugural. Uh, the weather was much different then. All of our rehearsals were during a time of rain. Very, very cold. Some of the rain had turned to ice, uh, and it was pretty difficult to prepare in those conditions, but the band did a fantastic job. The day of the inaugural, um, the parade actually started a little bit late, and it was very, very cold. And under these conditions, you wonder, you're, you're, you're now the drum major of the U.S. Marine Band, you've done what you could to prepare the band to perform in some pretty rough conditions in a formation that they're not used to marching in. And it's my responsibility now to lead the band down Pennsylvania Avenue and review for the President of the United States with the Commandant of the Marine Corps in attendance. It was a little bit stressful, uh, but I knew that I've got, I've got the band behind me who are consummate professionals. Everything they do, they do with the utmost of thought and intent. So I was pretty confident that it was going to go well. Um, and it did. It went fantastic. And I can just remember uh, saluting and going in front of the White House and, and seeing the President up there with the Commandant of the Marine Corps, knowing that I had done my part to ensure that we displayed the Marine Corps to the best of our ability.